Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back to another video. A noodle. What's up, Barbies? What's up, Kim Bots? Welcome back to another video. I don't know why the fuck every time I press record on these cameras, I turn into a buffoon, but it's your boy Kino Body, and I'm back with another video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my BBL vlog. Um, yeah, I just kept it real. That's what happened. That's all that that is. Um, I'm actually in the process of, if you guys can see this, resetting this hookah. Um, let me show you guys a quick body look. This is where I'm at right now. Okay. Um, cause I'm pretty sure I'm going to be getting a lot of questions, so I just want to ask them as answer them for you as they come in um i've been back home for a couple of days now um got back home on monday today is tuesday yeah it's either tuesday or wednesday i'm sorry um and for those of you who don't know what i'm doing i'm currently renting out this house I don't know what it's called, but I like to rinse it out when I use it. Just because this is my favorite hookah and it's really old and sometimes some of the, some of the um, burnt up shisha, like I don't know how, but it gets in here. So you guys, first things first, I wanted to say I am kind of sad because I was having really like vivid dreams. I was having really passionate moments in my dreams. And I'm the minute I started smoking again, all of my dreams went away. So I no longer have dreams. I just sleep really well, wake up, that's it. Let me know in the comments if you guys have noticed like between when you smoke and when you don't smoke, are your dreams any different? Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna reset this hookah, and I'm, <laughs> let me say this, sidebar, I'm going to start working on saying, um, so much, so much, so much in my videos. I just think I need to find a better word to use. When I was editing that video, my last vlog for Miami, I was very annoyed with myself, because I feel like I don't speak clearly sometimes. I feel like I get lost in like what I'm trying to say, lost in translation, and use the word um as like a filler way too much. So that means I just need to slow down and pay attention to what I'm thinking so that way I can just execute my consent talks, okay? I've noticed it before in other blogs, but not nearly as bad. And maybe because I, like the video was like, almost an hour and like 50 minutes. So that was a lot of footage to sit down and just listen to. So I was like. So Smoke isn't back home yet. Smoke is, um, <laughs> Smoke is still in Connecticut. And we're going to pick him up tonight. Um, we're actually, we didn't go pick him up yet because his mom, and stepfather are driving through the city coming from Charlotte and we're just going to ride with them to go pick up Smoke a Look. And that's great because who wants to sit on a train for, I don't know, I think it's like three or four hours to get to Connecticut and pick Smoke up with them. I mean, if we didn't have a choice, we would have done it. We just didn't do it because he just didn't feel like it was needed. Oh, I was like, where's the staff? I'm um, so sm small. Fitz is in here. He might make an appearance in this clip. I'm not really sure. He just stepped outside to go grab some, some stuff. And yeah, last night I cooked some jerk chicken and I made jerk chicken and salmon. Not jerk chicken and salmon jerk chicken and jerk steak but like i made it in like it's like a one pot thing and then i just made 
a side of white rice. Well, kind of laid it on top of a better white rice. I didn't put it on the side. I don't like to be like miss, like inaccurate with my um, food descriptions. So guys, I'm in my old stage two um, garment. I don't know how much of you, I don't know if you guys recognize this garment, but it was the what I used last year um, when I was going through my post-op. So this one is a size small and I've had it taken in twice, once here and I've had it taken in here. I'm missing a hook right here, but that's because it's old. Um, but it still is doing the job. Um, what was I gonna say? So I have it taken in already twice. And the minute I got back to New York, I just hopped right inside of it. Uh, slept in it last night, tried sleeping in it last night for the first time. And I took it, I like, I kept the garment on, but I unhooked the, um, but I unhooked the, the whatchamacallits. I unhooked the hooks because it just became a little uncomfortable at two, three o'clock in the morning. <sighs> but I've had it on all day. This is my new best friend, literally. Will not be taking this off unless I'm using the bathroom, taking a shower, uh, that kind of thing. This is Faha 101 for those of you who don't know. You need to live in it. Last year, I lived in this Faha up until my birthday. Um, this year, I'm going to try to live in it. I actually have something that's a little smaller than this. Um, I'm going to try to fit into that in about a week. Uh, I'll actually show you guys what I'm talking about. Hold on. Don't mind that mess right there. Sorry. So this is another garment that I have, another like Faha. Um, I'm just scared because the material isn't this material. I mean, it's it's a stretchy material. It's just like, like what I'm wearing, you could tell was like really expensive versus this was like, I don't remember the price. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you guys the price if you ask on in the comments, I'll tell you, but I don't remember. I just know it's from Amazon and um, this I got from a specialty boutique in the Bronx um, when I lived up in the Bronx. Excuse me. My intentions were actually to go back there and get another Faha. But this fits really well. Trust me, I don't need, I don't need anything else right now. Uh, in the event of this of my swelling going down more, which more than likely that's gonna happen because I'm going to have my first massage back home um, over the weekend. I'm gonna do it either Saturday or Sunday. Um, I, don't, I think I told you guys that, I'm not really sure. But yeah, I'm doing my first New York massage Saturday or Sunday at this facility that's not too far from where I live. Um, unfortunately, the girl that I used last year is now a traveling nurse. So I don't have the luxury. I mean, I could have booked someone to come to me um, other than Gabby, but I feel like that was a sign for me to not just sit around in the house. Like, I feel like it's very easy to fall into depression when you're in recovery. Um, and I know that also firsthand experience from my, like, my knee and my back. Like, when you're just home, 100% like immobile, it's very hard, like mentally hard. But uh, because I've been on these pain medications, my knee has been fine. I haven't really been feeling too much. Well, I mean, obviously I have the aches and the pains, but they're a little less, they're a little more tolerable <laughs> these last couple of days, I will say that. So yeah, there's this place I'm gonna go to. I forgot the name of it, but I can link it 
for you guys. Uh, just let me know. So yeah, I am officially seven, eight, nine, ten days post op. Oh no, surgery was last week, Wednesday or Thursday. So I'm not even that much, but because today's Tuesday, so almost seven. I think. I need to look at a calendar. I hate when I'm wrong. Being dyslexic, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I suffer from dyslexia. Um, I found that out in the third grade. My mom and I were having a, I was having a lot of trouble learning in school and my mom didn't understand why reading was more difficult for me and math was more difficult for me. And she, you know, her anger got the best of her a few times and she like yelled at me and stuff. She never like beat me, but not because of that. But she definitely like didn't understand my learning disability um, until, you yeah, know, I was diagnosed with it. And then when they broke it down to her, it just made a lot more sense. Uh, so being dyslexic is troubling for many reasons. Um, one being you just are always second guessing yourself with certain things because you don't want to, you don't want to be wrong but there's a chance that you are wrong, so you should definitely take the, the steps and... Sorry, I need to call Fitz real fast. I don't have a lighter, hold on. So I'm back, you guys. Um, <laughs> Fitz is at the store down the block, but I found a, what's this? And Auntie G just posted a video, her St. Martin vlog. Go stream her stream. Go watch um, Gina Janine's St. Martin vlog right now. <laughs> um, ah, fuck, I keep saying that word. So yeah, he's down the block at the store now. Uh, and I found this lighter in his bag i don't know where my like i mean we had i had a red lighter earlier that was a big and that's a lot better than this i don't really know why this one's dead <sighs> but it is so whatever so this is my process of lighting these freaking hookah calls if ever i can't find an actual lighter oh my god i'm so stupid i have a fucking hookah cold lighter this literally this gadget is made to light hookah coals and i forgot because i got it right before well not right before but we got it recently so i didn't remember that we had it until just now i'm so fucking annoyed that's so stupid i could be I could be not sitting here stressing, not even stressing, but struggling not to burn myself when I have a whole gadget, literally a whole fucking gadget. I don't remember what I was saying before. But anyway. I'm about to just chill for a little while. <laughs> it's supposed to fall a lot better than that on the first go. Something's wrong. I don't know what's wrong, but something's wrong. Is this not lit? Oh, it's very like lightly lit. Something's wrong. Do you see what I mean? Like now I'm like, going through it. This is so stupid. 
should I just put it on the thing? Let's see, guys. The coal wasn't lit properly. Now it's my job to keep it lit. Wait, so my butt's already starting to get soft. And I'll show you what I mean. Usually you will have to wait months for your ass to get jiggly like this. But do you guys see? You would think I got jelly or something put in my butt. And mind you, this doesn't hurt. It's like at all. It just feels regular. Not to mention, Dr. McDaniel, bitch, what stomach, what waist, like what, bitch, he, yeah, he did that. Niggas at the cooker. Um, I think we're about to watch BMF now. Once Fitz get back, when Fitz gets back with the weed, and then we have to pack because <sighs> going to Connecticut tonight to go pick up my baby. So I'll see you guys in my next clip. What's up, beautiful people? I'm back on here looking dry. Of course, I need to turn on this. Fuck. <clears throat> I need to turn on the light. Hold on one second. Okay, so I'm about to pour me some ginger ale. It's a new day, by the way. Sorry. Um, it's actually a couple of days. Ooh. That's good. I just don't know what works anymore, obviously. Okay, this works. Um, so yes, yeah, a couple of days later, and, um, yeah, like, I've just kind of been chilling. Um, ooh, I love ginger ale. Um, I've been chilling. Um, I posted, um, some content on Instagram. Um, I'm trying really hard to stop saying, um, I posted some content on Instagram. Uh, I forgot what I made, though. What the hell did I make that day? What did I make that day? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, partly because I've been smoking. And I just don't like this angle. So let's do something about this. Move. Oh my gosh. Is this better? Probably not, right? This glare is crazy. Let's just cover the glare. Can we cover the glare? Let's try. No. It's just... Anyway, so yeah, I've been smoking more and I've been, you know, getting back in my vibe. And now I have the munchies. So I'm going to eat some like raisin cinnamon bread. Um, Fitz is in here. He went to go get smoke. So he's in Connecticut for the... Well, he's been in Connecticut for like two days now, I think. Um. So yeah, he should be back tomorrow with smoke. It's been so long. Ah, oh, my baby. I'm so excited. I can't wait for Smoke to get back. 
Well, Fitz too, but I can't wait for the smoke to get back. I haven't seen him since before Miami. Um, so yeah, I've just been home. I had to schedule an appointment for an MRI and um, I'm a little nervous because I just had some work done, but um, they said that everything should be fine by the time I go in for the appointment because it's, you know, weeks out that um, I should be fine. Um, and if I'm not feeling it, then I'll just reschedule. Sorry. So you guys, my thighs have gotten bigger, I think, or something, um, because, yeah. <laughs> it just be like a lot going on, like walking around is crazy. Um, I don't know, now that I'm standing here, I'm thinking maybe I need something else, and I really don't. I have a Quaker bar and like four loaves, I mean four slices of fucking bread. <laughs> Else. Let me show you what the fuck I'm going on. So, this is my Quaker bar. Can you guys see? Is this Quaker? Yeah, I think it's Quaker. So, it's the oatmeal and raisin one. It's literally my new favorite. And now I have like four slices of this cinnamon swirl raisin. <laughs> To top it off, I got a ginger ale. No, yes, this is ginger ale. Thank you, thank you. Damn, that ginger ale tastes good. I just been drinking water. Oof, that ginger ale tastes like <laughs> it just made me even more happy. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm home for the day. Um, I was gonna cook today, but I'm not gonna cook. I still have some. Oh, that's what I made. I made jerk chicken and rice and steak. So I still have some of that in the fridge. So I'm just gonna eat that. Um, and then I'll cook tomorrow when I guess Fitz is. Ooh, my butt is itching. Sorry, y'all. I'll cook tomorrow when Fitz is um on his way here with smoke for dinner. Um. So, yeah, I was just making a quick entry. I might vlog a little more today. I've really just been chilling. Um, <sighs> trying to find something interesting to watch because I don't want to watch the shows that we normally watch and then rewatch them. You know, you know what? I think I'm going to grab some chips. I think I'm going to grab some Doritos. This is the Cool Ranch. It is just Cool Ranch. To me. I'm not going to eat the whole bag. I'm just going to have some of the bag. Hello. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna try to find something good to watch on TV. Pop up on a BBL chair because I have like the pillow on like my little chair, so it's now my BBL chair. I'm gonna hop up on that snack and then give it some time to digest before I lay back down. Um, I was actually just on the phone with Fitz uh, right before I made this. Right before making this clip, he is at his grandmother's house. Um, she had a tragedy earlier on in the year. I think it was earlier on this year. Um, something tragic happened. Um, and he, you know, is just checking in to make sure she's okay. So he's over there spending some time with her and his grandfather as well. Um, I think also his little sister's birthday, so... Because it's his little, I think they're doing something, you know, they're obviously going to be cutting cake or something. Something's happening. Um, I mean, he mentioned it to me, I'm sure. I just probably forgot. Um, <laughs> what else? And yeah, he has smoke. So that's that. Um, I'm going to go in a room now and chill for a while. And I'll see you guys in my next clip. Good morning, guys. It's um a couple days later since I've seen you guys. I haven't um I haven't really been in the mood to pick up the camera. Um, I've been just kind of to myself. Um, I was taking these last few days because um, I've been here in New York by myself for 
three days now. Um, so I was just taking the time to just to, you know, be to myself. Um, I kept like having the urge to pick up the camera and film. Um, I wanted to do a 48 hour alone video. I wanted to do a 24 hour alone video, you know, just like to produce some content for you guys. But I just didn't, it just wasn't happening. Like I was just vibing, just chilling, just, I guess just like enjoying me time. Um, Fitz and I don't normally, excuse me, Fitz and I don't normally spend this much time away from each other. So it, I guess it's like an adjustment when we have to. Um, I, well, where he was in Connecticut, he was like with his like family and friends. I was just kind of here. Um, and of course I have like family and friends here in New York, but where I live, I live like really, really, really far from everyone. And, um, and so I just was kind of like, you know what, I'm just going to chill. I was talking to my best friend. We recently just reconnected. We had a falling out a couple years ago and we haven't spoken. Um, we fell out over the Miami trip that we went on, um, two years ago two or three years ago and uh we haven't spoken since but we recently reconnected a couple of weeks ago and we've been you know dming and talking and stuff just taking it lightly um she was hitting me up last night um yeah i mean don't get it twisted like i miss her a lot um just having her like in my life because she you know she's a day one and she's my best friend we just We've had a lot of ups and downs in our friendship. And so whenever we reconnect, it takes us... And it it's not like it takes us a minute to catch back up, but we haven't, like... We've just been, like, texting, DMing. We haven't... Sorry, someone just sent me um, a text message. We haven't had the opportunity to see each other in person and, like, hang out, and hang out just yet. But, I mean, I'm not really and a place yet where I can be running around outside comfortably anyway, so. But we've already said once I'm able to, you guys see that? That's from me taking sips of my tea. I'm drinking some Arnica tea, by the way. Um, yeah, once I'm able to sit down, then we'll hang out. But what I was going to say was I, I haven't had any coffee. I'm like, what was I about to say? I literally just went blank just now. I haven't had any coffee um, since, like, December. I haven't had any, like, actual caffeine. Uh, and I'm not really in a rush to have coffee, but I want to have coffee. I just think I, I want my next coffee drink to be a caramel ribbon crunch from Starbucks. And there's one a few blocks up for me it's literally like three blocks up but it's so freaking cold in new york that it's kind of scary um i was talking to fitz just now actually um we literally just got off the phone he just got in the car um headed to new york and he was saying that it's like seven degrees where he's at right now in, in connecticut i'm not sure what it is in new york but i'm sure it's not too much like further from that like it's really really cold the last couple of days have been the coldest and windiest that it's been in the city all year so let me give you guys a quick butt update um my butt is almost completely soft uh this is kind of what happened last year my butt gets soft really really fast really really quick and yeah I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. Forgive the mess. I just kind of rolled out of bed. Hold on. See, like the bed and stuff is still messed up. So I have on my robe right now. This is what I look like when I'm just robed up. You guys can see it's like a little jiggle. It's like jiggle already as I'm just like turning around. But so here we are. Oof. 
Let's see. Oh, it's all ashy right here. Chill. Thighs is ashen and chicken is lotion. What she said? I'm not gonna. Uh, 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 uh. So, yeah, here we are. Ass is assin. Camel hump type shit. Camel hump. A hump on a camel. Kino the camel. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm excited to see smoke. Oh my God, I haven't seen smoke in like so long. His mom made a joke last night. Um, she was like, he's probably more excited to see. I don't remember what the conversation was, but um, we were talking about, well, they were talking about something and um, they were talking about the time that they were coming to New York, something like that. And um, he was, she was saying, well, Fitz said something like, oh, um, you excited to see us tomorrow? Something like that. And his mom, excuse me, I didn't mean to pick my nose. It's like a habit. I didn't really pick my nose. I just kind of like wiped the bottom. Whatever, y'all do it too. His mom was like, he's more excited to see smoke than he is you. And Fitz was like, I know. And it's not that like I don't miss um, Fitz because, you know, he's... He's like my boyfriend, you know, like whatever. Of course I miss him. But um Smoke just like That's just my not vibe. Like I love him so much. Like Smoke just He came into my life when I needed him like the most. Um He's the fluffy distraction, the the ball of just energy and love that like that I need. Cause I be getting real sad sometimes. Um. So anyway, I have an MRI, guys. <laughs> back to this. Back to the crazy shit. Okay, so I have an MRI scheduled for like February later on in this month like the 20 something i think um it's in my phone and i'm first of all i'm annoyed because i don't want to do it like i really don't want to do an mri but i have to because um my doctor is like concerned with one of the like bulging disc in the top of my back so he wants to I'm definitely not doing another back surgery like that's just that I think what he might end up doing is um, burning the nerve so and that's another thing like when I start getting into like those type of like surgeries and stuff and like getting back into thinking about like my actual reality I get really like blah and then i have to I'm, i have this like hearing coming up in a couple of weeks um that i can't even believe that i need to have because these people are fucking ridiculous when the time comes and i'm able to sit down and talk to you guys like freely and like because everything i'm saying is the truth but they're you know because of litigations and stuff you can't just like speak freely yet um but the time is definitely approaching soon i can feel it i feel like this year even if what i want to happen doesn't happen this year i just know that this year is going to be a great year for me personally um i have to go to the store sometime today and i have to grab some sausages because i'm making spaghetti I'm making my, like, quick spaghetti for dinner. Um, and then I'm like, should I just make stuff shells for dinner instead of spaghetti? Um, with, like, tomato sauce? Is that what it's called? Like, pasta sauce? Because the last time I did stuffed shells, I did, like, um, Alfredo stuffed shells. And this time I was thinking maybe I could do a... Um, I 
sorry this time i was thinking maybe i could do like a traditional not so traditional because like nothing i do is like the way it's supposed to be done like when kino cooks kino cooks his way and um i hope you like it but if you don't i'm sorry it's how i cook the last time i made the last time i cooked uh fits was this, he got a little upset because i made um the jerk chicken kind of spicy like i didn't make it spicy the sauce like jerk sauce if you cook you know like it just comes spicy like even if the bottle says mild it's still going to be pretty hot um and the one the bottle that i got the one that they had in the store the only one that i, I saw on the shelf was a was a hot bottle so i'm like okay i'm not going to because i usually would add my cayenne pepper and you know my black pepper right um crushed red peppers you know like i add my heat um and all those items that i just named have like minor heat to them like it's not like they get they're like really really hot but i think when they make the jerk sauce in the bottles they use like scotch bonnet um peppers and those are like an obscenely hot peppers so and i use the whole bottle of jerk sauce when i cook like I, i'm just not like a shy cook like i'm not stingy with anything like i like to make very um fulfilling meals whenever i cook so, it came out really hot I mean, it was great and we enjoyed it. We fucked it up, but I'm trying to not make everything so spicy. And I've been doing a good job at that, honestly, because usually everything I cook would have a high kick to it. But um, I'm just learning that it's okay for everything not to be that hot. You guys, I feel like I look crazy. Like, oh my God, I hate when I'm going through this no haircut like phase i need a haircut i need a lip scrub um oh, excuse me i need to uh what's this shit called so i ordered a new urban skinner rex because i'm all out of my face wash and i hate when i'm out of my face wash so me ordering it it says that it's not gonna be here until thursday uh, and i don't want to like get a different face wash in the meantime because i tried using that before like before i started using urban skin rx i was a saint ives boy like they have a saint ives apricot scrub and I use that religiously. Like, I would wash my face with that. They have so many different, like, St. Ives apricot scrubs. They have the warming scrub where it actually, like, heats up as you're scrubbing and exfoliating your skin. And and before St. Ives, I used Proactive. Um, and Proactive was just, like, a waste. Proactive made me so mad because um, I got a... I got like my I got really badly irritated when I was using proactive. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but like so I think the so they have like three different steps. Like they have like this like thing that you use to like wash your face, they have like a toner, and then they have like this like medicine that you put on whatever, like the three steps. And I think um because they're like, oh like go around your eye, like don't go like don't put it on your actual eye, like just like go around your eye. And I think because I wasn't cautious of because i've never like done that before like even when washing my face like i just like get right up under my lids you know and i try to like get my entire face and so i didn't realize that i was getting it in my eye and like there were times where i would put it on and um it would just like feel a little uncomfortable like it wouldn't sting it wouldn't burn it just felt like you know like you got lotion in your eye or something and then after doing it a few days one morning I woke up and my entire eye, like the, the lid, was like swollen. And it looked like I have it looked like I had a sty. And then it started to crust in the corner because it was like irritated. Um so like where it was swollen at in the corner of my eye, it would like crust throughout the day. And at one point I think it was like draining because of like chow. Uh, and then it moved from here to like it moved from like one corner to the other corner and then at one point it was just at both corners of this eye 
And it was like that for like a whole summer. And if you know me, you know, like I, it made me so depressed. And at this point I was like a workaholic. Like this is when I was working at um, Sweet Revenge. It was a cupcake and wine bar. It was like a dessert bar on, what's that word? This is Van something. It was in Soho. I can't remember the name of it. They're not, they're no longer open, but um, yeah, I just can't believe like what Proactive did to me. And then I just stopped using it. It was to the point where I like was having it like shipped out like was it once a month. However, they did their, um, their shipments. And then, um, and I was like, I can't keep using this because this just isn't working for me. Like, not only did it irritate my eye, it just did nothing for my skin. And at this time, I, like, was suffering with razor bumps on my face. And, of course, like, you guys couldn't tell that I even grew facial hair or I used to shave or whatever because my skin just looks like this now. Um, and so I was dealing with razor bumps. And it was just, like, with the razor bumps, sometimes you would have to pop them. And then they would leave marks. And it was just so bad. Like, I was so stressed. I never had like pimply skin. I just had razor bumps from shaving. And and this was like pre-pandemic and stuff like that, right? So I would like see my friends and my like coworkers and stuff and you know, give them a kiss on the cheek, whatever. Like I'm very like friendly. And that created more of a problem for me on this jawline specifically because like this is what I would kiss like on this jawline the most. So I always would have just like little blemishes on the side of my face. And whenever I had moments where my skin was clear, I, I used to be so happy. And then boom, razor bump, boom, blemish. And it just drives me crazy. It literally made me cry a few times. Uh, then I like transitioned into just washing my face with the St. Ives uh, multiple times a day. And that helped, uh, but nothing helped the way Urban Skin Rx did. But I think in conjunction with using, like using Urban Skin Rx as well as doing laser hair removal for my face really is what took my skin to the to another level. And now I'm at a place now where I'm learning how to unlock my glow again. Um, and... It's very difficult when you're like a smoker and you're growing and you're just like, cause I've, I definitely know smoking tints your glow. Like it does. You will look one way when you're fin, like let's say you do your full face routine in the morning when you wake up and you go outside and you smoke a blunt. You're like, it's just like, I don't know how to explain it, but I mean, obviously like your eyes get a little low and you become more chill because you're like high. But I feel like smoking overall just like takes away from your natural glow. Like I don't want to explain it. So trying to find that balance. Now I've um, incorporated vitamin C serums um, into my routine. But this is stuff that I've been using for years. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, and not for nothing, like even though I get laser, like there are still really fine hairs that like the naked eye don't really pick up. But they kind of cover your skin and so they like block the, the like glow so if you shave like whenever you're shaving your face for whatever reason make sure you get as high up under you know like just make sure you like get every like crease obviously you're not shaving your um forehead or your nose but just like try to get as high you know as possible and just you'll see the difference like you your skin literally looks so much better um just one of my little beauty secrets i went through a lot of different beauty phases um at one point i had like a perm when i was in middle school was it middle school yeah i think it was middle school i had like a perm um i had like a bang uh i went through a lot of phases to get to where i'm at now and I'm not even saying now I'm, like, fully decided. And, I mean, not, like, decided as in, like, I'm changing anything drastic. But, like, 
I don't ever see myself like dyeing my hair or doing extreme things anymore like to my physical although I've never dyed my hair anything other than black I've only ever like had a dark like this is actually so I had to get readjusted to having brown because my hair is just dark brown it's not black but I had to get readjusted to having dark brown because for like a year I was just like rinsing my head black because I felt like it just made me look a lot more sexy but I mean chow I wake up sexy so it's like you feel me I'm, it's like nigga shut the fuck up like the shit I used to tell myself it's a joke like whatever um I have a blunt here and this clip is already 21 minutes long so that's going to be annoying when I have to edit but I'm about to light this blunt up um find something interesting to watch on YouTube. I'm actually about to watch the new episode of Love After Lockup. If you guys are watching Love After Lockup or have watched any of it before, let me know. Love, 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 love this show so much. Um, I'm excited to see my baby when he gets here. Look at Auntie G. I have to watch Gina St. Martin vlog. I haven't watched it yet. I was actually, I binge watched so much of Gina um, yesterday. I probably spent the whole day watching her. Because um, I didn't watch any of her vlogs when I was in Miami and stuff. Because I was just, you know, not in that headspace of chilling and watching TV. But being home for, you know, a few days, I was like, let me just catch up on everything. So I was watching um, her vlogs. And she's just, I just love Gina. Um, can't wait to see her again soon. Who threw Ari's food away? Child, I'm about to say, let me watch this little T page. Um, Cause you know, Arby does like, she has a cooking like segment that she does on YouTube, Cooking with the Dawn. Um, and I think yesterday's episode was her and that Rico guy. He's, they're so funny. Like, I think Ari's really funny and Rico's really funny and Tucson's really funny. Like, I feel like, you know, they are really funny. And um, I'm going to watch that cooking video sometime today or tomorrow. See, this is, you guys can't see it, but I'm looking at the trailer now. And yeah. So, oh my God, 23 minutes. I'll see you guys in my next clip. This is ridiculous. Hey guys. So today is a new day. Oh my gosh. Um, I think the last time I spoke to you guys, I don't remember what I was doing. I think I was in the room. Um, but I wanted to jump, I wanted to jump on here today because I have on a new garment that I wanted to show you guys. So if you guys can see. Oof. So I have on this new garment that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I put, um, what is it called? Socks. I put socks up here. I'm trying to cover myself because I don't have um, the underwear on. But yeah, so I have socks up here because it like, you know, be cutting into my arms. But here's where I am. <laughs> that's what that looks like um i'm still swollen right here there's like some fluid right here that needs to drain when i go get my massage done Whew, sorry when i go get my massage done like they'll drain that fluid that's right here and then it'll be oops, then it'll be like flat 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 flat, flat. Yeah. but as of right now it's just a little like fluid right here and i've been like self-massaging by just like rubbing um, um, applying some like circular pressure on the incisions, that's what they're called, on the incisions, but very <laughs> happy, very happy. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna close, I need to like, sorry, hold on a second. Oh, it's a little messy, I don't know, I think I was eating 
and I like um, wipe my hand on me, being stupid. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna close this out because it's just really just been me just kind of getting back into my like groove of things, um, staying home, like just, you know, healing, I guess, going through my little process. Um, so this vlog is very chill. I hope you guys still appreciate it. <laughs> I'm going to try to do more in the next vlog. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to try my best to do as much as I can without, you know, doing too much. But yeah, Fitz is in the room. He's actually um, getting ready. Well, I think we're posting a vlog today um, on a couple channels. So it's going to go live either today or tomorrow. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. He's doing just the last finished touches on that. Smoke is on the floor sleeping. It's obviously noon-ish. It's 11.24. Um, so I guess it's nap time for him. Whatever. Fitz and I got up a little while ago. It's a very chill day. I think today is like Thursday or Monday. I don't really remember. It's just been like a lot of just chilling and resting, so I haven't been keeping up with the days. <clears throat> um, I think I am gonna cook dinner tonight though, because uh, there isn't any more spaghetti. I made spaghetti the other day. I didn't um, vlog it or anything because, or I, I didn't even put it on Instagram because it was just like a quick one, two, three spaghetti. Um, but, and then like, now that I think about it, like those recipes, like people look for too because people like the quick meal idea. You know what I mean? Like quality good food, but you like want it to be quick. You don't want to be cooking for too long. So the next time I do something like that, I probably should just like post my like real. I should just make a real. Um, but whatever. Today I'm gonna cook. I'm doing like some. <laughs> I'm doing cabbage. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. I've just been smoking. Um, that's what I was doing. So I'm doing cabbage. Um, I'm going to either put chicken and sausage. I think I'm doing chicken and sausage in the cabbage. And then I'm going to um, put that. I'm going to put that on top of like a bed of rice. And I don't know what kind of side to put with it. I might do like broccoli. Yeah, I might do broccoli just to make sure I have some health going on. And I'm going to try not to cook the cabbage too much, like steam it too much, because I still wanted to have a slight crunch to it. You know, but whatever. That's what I'm doing for dinner tonight. And I'll show you guys a picture of that in the next vlog. Um, and yeah, I'm chilling, guys. Oh, so I changed Fajas because the other one... I hand washed, or I had fixed hand wash it for me, and it was like hanging out to dry. So I was like, well, I'll try this one on and see how it feels. And da 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 da. I remember showing this to you guys. And wasn't too crazy over it at first, but now I like, like, I don't mind it being a backup. Um, Cause that's all it's, you know, that's all it can be. It's just not meant to be like a main fire. Um. <laughs> And I just like black, like black is my favorite color. So I feel like it just works a lot better that like my garment is black and you know, whatever. Um, so that, I mean, but that one's dry. So I'm gonna put that on sometime later on today, probably like after I'm done cooking and shower and stuff. And then I'll put that on so it's all fresh and you know, everything's fresh. Um, yeah, that's that. So anyway, I love you buddies and I love you Ken bots and I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Mm-hmm.